Do it now, before you forget. count of ourselves to God. The joy book does that. It writes down the joys and all the all the things, joyous or not, plus it counts blessings, fifteen blessings every hour and one rejoice every fifteen minute. And you want to know something for years folks, I would go buy these spiral notebooks like this one and I would go buy the uh, composition books and they would speak to me and they would say buy me buy me but I never did I resisted it it was wrong a joy book is very very important and a thank you book is very very important and a med create book is very very important here they are over in these drawers that's the uh, that's the mosquito fighter and this is the Med Create book. And this is the Thank You book. A book listing thank yous. So I just called our library 
to get the uh, telephone number and address. They have a website. And I want, I got everything but the name of the CEO. So I want to call him up and ask him if he watches my a chat with Glendora in Hop Hog, Cablevision, and uh, will he make me these uh, boxes of just black? Antimicrobial. I think he can get uh, Lyme disease from these washable color pens. Folks, is that a tick? You know, I'm getting paranoid. I'm going to buy myself a flea and tick collar. I'm get a, such as a head for dogs and cats. I'm going to wear it around my neck. A little tiny thing like this can cause you so much trouble. Veterinarian gave me that tick worm diseases. You gotta get a book on Lyme disease and see what this is. Symptoms of Lyme disease. I just said one, lethargy, nothing else. Isn't that a work of art? I like to share these things with you. The nurse, New York, one Hi, Glenny. That was a good one. The old wires for hire. How are you tonight? I hope everything is well. This is Joe Cronin calling from lowly downtown Linda Nurse, New York, 11757. Hope all is well with you and hope you're doing a lot better from that uh, terrible Lyme disease. You should be uh, up to about 99 by now. Well, I wanted to report on the program. This is the fourth week in a row that they've... Uh, I don't understand that. On again. I just don't understand that. Very sorry program, but uh, it starts off with Judge Duranco and ends up with uh, the Crystal Cathedral over there in Garden Grove, California. But uh, anyway, this is the fourth week in a row. Don't understand it. That's Oggy Doggy. Your cat stole the last show away. And I'm so long. I can see that you guys shovel a lot more snow up there than we do down here. <laughs> I enjoy your show and I love to hear your messages. Anyway. Zero. Set up menu. For greeting options, press 1. Play your greeting, press 1. To re-record your greeting, press 2. To Please record your custom greeting after the tone. When you are finished, press the pound key. Doctor, before you perform the autopsy, did you check for any pulse? No. Did you check for blood pressure? No. Uh... 
did you check for breathing? No. So then it is possible that the patient was alive when you began the autopsy? No. How can you be so sure, doctor? Because his brain was sitting on my desk in a jar. But could the patient still have been alive
friend. Take care of you two, okay? I'll do better than you do. I'll do better at it than you will. That's where General Burgoyne was captive after the losing the Battle of Saratoga and going home to face George III. Oh, you look alive! <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, you do. Are you from Sweden too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're both in Sweden. Sweden. Not so far. Well, a little bit, a little bit so far up in north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. 300 kilometers north from Stockholm. Oh, really? And you're going back? Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to anybody by Queens. You can't say anything to anybody from Queens without an argument. And you say, you say, Hattie, how are you today? I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, <what we're> <laughs> take, take care, folks.